So in this chapter, we are going to have a look at how we are going to test the business object functionality. So we have previously created a business object called SZFI underscore invoice demo. So let's open this business object. Okay, let's say BF slash test underscore UI. Okay, so uh, I have opened the business object that I have created previously ZFI underscore invoice. So So when you open this particular business object, you can see the uh, invoice header node available over here. Create you a couple of um, couple of queries by default. So you can just access it by from here. Like you have this couple of queries, select all and select by elements. So which is going to help you read the data from the database table. So we don't have any data first. So first we'll go ahead and create the data. Then we will see the functionality of read, update and delete. So to create it, you click on this create node instance button. And you will find that uh, a key has been generated and then you just enter the data. Okay, so you have entered the data and you click on save. So now you will notice a message that the transaction is saved and you can also see an entry over here. So you can just click, keep on, uh, click on this add button and you can add as many as node instance that you wanted. Now, going back to the uh, read functionality. Now you can just go ahead and you can say select all. So what it does is that it is going to select all the node instances that are available as part of this particular business object for that particular node and it is going to display it over here. Suppose, let's say for example, if you wanted to select it by some particular value, like say for example, the invoice number is 1001 or the customer number is 1001, then you can select by uh, select the query select by element and this particular query is going to contain a filter for all the attributes that are part of your uh, structure, the, the combined structure. So you can just enter your invoice number over here and you can do a search and you can see the message that one one hits are found so you can basically see this message over here so now in order to update this particular record we we can go into the change mode and we can update the record so notice when i'm going to click on this edit functionality the first thing that you would notice is that the system will by default lock the entry so that no one else edit it so the, it has locked the entry and then it has just given the value over here let's say for example we enter the payment status and save so now you see the message transaction save at this point of time the the lock will be un, uh, unreleased sorry the lock will be released and the transaction would be complete then you also see a button over here which is going to help you when deleting the node instances of the data so this is just a test framework where you can test the functionality of the uh, BOPF like the different actions validations uh, determinations and so on but when you're going to consume this business object we are going to uh, see it how we are going to use it in the program in order to consume this particular um, consume this fun uh, services okay so now that we have uh, created our business object what we will be doing is we will go ahead and we will uh, start adding the different node elements